Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back. This is Gordian Quest. Not super pleased with our current situation here. First of all, eh, too often it just doesn't do anything. Don't even know what the one armor does. And the field awareness, because of the flanking strike, it doesn't really work. It just doesn't really work. Now we did pick up another hidden blade. Gain that one AP, but we gotta make sure we don't have, I mean, it does have a lot of attacks, but not so many. It's like a 50%, 50% less than 50% chance. Just barely less than 50% chance. And every card we get that's not an attack makes that a little bit worse. Hmm. Well, at least you leveled up, my friend. Uh, we can get a skill mastery here. Yeah. Diving zone. It's a lot of damage. Steel edge. Show of force. Makes it free. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Gain three critical and open. No, I think we got to go with the show of force here. Now, if I didn't, you know, honestly, making this guy like kind of a, a frontliner, that seems crazy, but... Could have been cool. Need more defense items, honestly. Still pretty happy with the rend. This does give poison resist and eh, let's try it. Let's try the chaos impaler. Gain three guard when an ally in the row attacks. Yeah. Not sure what to do with you, Alphonse. Kind of feel like the other guy was more effective. We'll just go heal up real quick. But do we keep you now? Hmm. I like his his class more. I think I do, but I think we're going to go with the ranger anyways. Now, nah, what am I talking about? I just like him more. I just like him more. I mean, having those, the turret, I see the one thing is that's kind of get me is I want that. I want to drop turrets. That seems like it could be pretty cool. It might be very effective as well. Like having the additional support on the field. If only we could have four people. Okay. We'll give you another try. Secure the forge. Level three recommended. Okay. Let's go. Rabbit Jin's forge places disarray with various smithing paraphernalia scattered across the floor. We can gain items. Come across a collection of torn and grimy tomes. One of them is still in legible condition. Okay. Another precog, potion of elusiveness. As you rifle the mess, you hear a sudden noise from around back. It sounds like you have company. Three ruffians step into the courtyard, hauling their ill-gotten gains. One of them motions to his accomplices to hurry along. It seems that the undead are not the only threat to the city right now. We can trail them. All heroes attempt. Let's try it. I think he's going to be able to do this. Oh, yeah. What could we use? Barrier can help. You got that plus one. I'd rather you try it. Let's just go. I'm going to just go for it. Yep, we have failed the challenge. I could attempt a reroll. Nah. 
We did not get experience, and we got a one critical failure. What happens then? In your haste to follow them, you knock over a stray bucket, and one of the allies in it clatters noisily down the street. The commotion draws the trio's attention. They spot you half in the shadows. The little motions for them to deal with you, and seconds later, battle is joined. That's that's fine. Battle is also experience. Ooh, you're new. A big beefy boy. Deal more da three more damage if you are in the front row. Deals nine. I should have him start in the back if he's got this stealth thing. Stealth effects apply if you're in the back row. I think I'm going to try and kill this meaty guy. Uh, we could do a feint. And discard the parry. Does not actually get me more damage. Does it? Yes, it does. 13... Three plus one. This gets worse as time goes on because it's immutable, not affected by stat bonuses. So our stats are very high, but it does not make this better. Seventeen. I think that's probably the most damage that we can get. Oh, we should have done the swift strike first. Eh, it just gave me another stab. That's okay. Um, show of force. I think we just gotta try and kill this guy. I mean, I'll use that. This is also free, I realize. I forgot that it was free. You guys are going to deal a crap load of damage. You can actually move. Yeah. Get up there. He will deal more damage. What can we conjure? I'm not going to conduit. Set of each round, give all eyes a soul tether card. If the ally plays the card, you gain one channel. Cool. Um, I suppose we just shocking touch you. And then just grasp you. I mean, we're going to take damage here. Okay. So be it. Strong blow. Oh, you're going to take all the damage. Ow. Reinforcements. I did not notice. Um, we've got a lot of our attacks are there. No, probably unlikely. Um, but <laughs> honestly, you don't have much other choice. We could do hidden blade. I mean, I think we just do a hidden blade here. We did get the stab. You can move back. Parry once. Three times four. We would really like to kill this guy, wouldn't we? Yeah, let's just do it. Nice. Consume all might, but we'll deal a crap load of damage. Yes, please. <laughs> That's what we were looking for. Yeah, you're done. Um, I think we can just maybe kill you. Let's look for something. I guess you're the one we keep. Six vulnerable with the magic sword is a kill. Um, you can use this. 
You just keep it. You just keep it. Oh, wow. Oh, the passives. You don't... You just keep them always. I kind of... I didn't really figure it out. So they will always <coughs> have one of these things. Whatever your passives are, they are present in your hand every turn, no matter what. Now this seems like it's going to be good. Observe, that gave me 9 critical, and I can do a stealth for a crap load of damage, like straight up murdering you. What are you doing? You're going to gain 4 critical? That's a terrible use of your turn, I would think. Uh, follow through seems pretty good. Soul Tether also could be nice. And uh, you can just move up. You're going to do 4 damage to me? One quick barrier. Not enough for that. Still not quite enough. Oh, I could have done that and had the one mana and just. Well, no, because it would have used my charges. Okay. We'll take the bite. Oh! Oh my. I did not see that coming. Oh crap. Lycan Instinct. You got Retribution. I mean, two armor for every allied beast in battle at round begin. What is armor? Damage taken will be reduced by one. Value is then reduced by one? Does it reduce by two? What does that mean? When played, grant allies with mana conduit one channel. Yeah, of course. Um, hidden blade. I can check. Yeah, lots of attacks. Very likely. Indeed, we do get it. We can do a swift strike. You are going to attack me. For 10 and 10. Okay. Parry. Parry. Apply to root. You're going to try and root me here. Very well. Um, I think I want to try and just kill this wolf. Okay. That, that helped. Steel Edge can probably just murder something right now. 45. It's a bit of an overkill on you, though. We can do it by slashing you, and then steel edging you. Great. Now the wizard can go. He can do a nice Nova. I mean, applying the two chill. Yeah. Just do it. A flaming grasp on you and a shocking touch on you. We cannot do it on you. Okay, that's fine. You've been rooted and you're going to take damage, but... Oh, he like... Sends you with him. Doesn't he? What is going on there? I mean, two armor, yeah. But you like, when you attack, they attack? I don't see a passive anywhere here. Curious. Um, I can do not a whole lot here. We can observe. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Which, uh, yeah, sure, I'll get in your way. We got that free show of force. Pommel strike on you. I'll just give you another soul tether. That is fine by me. Uh, 
Okay. I guess he just takes the damage. And he's got the bleed. It's okay. You can wrap it up, right? Discard the parry. You can be at whole. I don't know if that will give you Flawless. Give me a parry. Yeah. Get the kill. Stay dead, good doggy. Level 3 for you. No Flawless. So going back up to full health. Ice Shard. 3 damage. Deals 16 damage. Applies 2 chill. I think... I like the, the one I'm using now because it gives me plus 1 spell damage. Um, you are just going straight assassin, right? Somersault. Move to any cell in your row or lane. If only at least two cells, gain one AP. Oh, I like that. And you get more damage. And now you have 20. Getting pretty good at this. Yes, you are. Um, I want to say go into the back. Off we go. Apparently my timer has gone off without me even realizing it. Um, let's go talk to Jim. Finally, I'll be able to start the forge and repair the militia's weapons. Welcome relief. Here I thought we'd have to resort to our fists. Visit me if you want to enhance your gear as well. You'll need to provide the additional materials, but I'm sure you'll find more out there. Can we... We can salvage... That's not what I was looking for, mind you. But, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to be able to enhance weapons, but it said I can just break things down. Well, okay. I guess we just go heal up. Thank you kindly. And that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, we're going to go and do uh, one more dungeon. The last one we went to was pretty difficult. We'll see how this one goes. Until then, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.